Uh, we have a bit of a torn cerebellum here, but it's here. It happens because they come out of the bone. It's just the way it is. So we've got we've got the cerebellum. What does it do? Balance. <laughs> Remember bellum, ballet, right? So motor control, motor control of muscles. Um, behind the cerebellum, you've got this thickened part. That's the medulla. What is that for? Breathing and Maintaining homeostasis type things, yes. Back here you have a spinal cord. Uh, you can't see the vagus nerve here, but there is supposed to be a vagus nerve. It innervates the sides, lateral part of the shark. What are these? Optic lobes for processing vision. All right. What's this one? Olfactory No. Oh, is no. That, is that the nasal thing? Superior ophthalmic. Oh. It's called the superior ophthalmic because it's superior to the eye, not because it has anything to do with eyesight. All right, so it's it it's most likely innervating the front part of the shark and maybe having to do with the ampullae of Lorenzini, which are underneath the snout. All right, what's this? Olfactory. No. That's the cerebrum. That's the part of the shark's brain that in us is enormous, right? But in the shark, it's just this tiny little thing. So these are the cerebral hemispheres that the shark has. Now, we don't have long-term memory. We don't have speech. We don't have emotions in a shark. But we probably what we probably have is um, stimulus response type decisions based on olfactory data that's coming from the olfactory tract and the olfactory bulb and sac up here through the nares, and also um, coordinating decisions based on other data the shark's getting from its lateral line, from its smell, from its sight, all of those things. Okay. Uh, do you remember what kind of cells are in the ampullae of Lorenzini? They detect electrical... Epithelial? Kind of. Mm. No. We're talking about Nervous. receptor cells they're inside their pit, pit organs. They're called pit, and they're on your list, okay? They're called pit organs, and those are the ones I told you about that have the jelly in them. And that jelly, somehow, I, I didn't study this in detail, but detects electrical fields. So if there's fish hidden in, in the sand, uh, there are electrical... <laughs> fields coming off of those fish get detected by the pit organs right there in the ampullae of Lorenzini. It's a very rare sense for an animal. Okay, then along the side, if you went into these and looked for the types of receptor cells on the lateral line, what would you find? Neuromasts. Neuromast cells. They have fibers sticking up that when a waves from maybe something flopping around over here come and hit the side of the shark, uh, it stimulates a action potential for the sharks, telling it, ah, there's something over here that might be dying. I'm going to go investigate. Right? Okay. That's a pretty complete. I mean, there may be one or two more things I left out. I don't think so. But, And, of course, this isn't a female. You need to know the female parts, too. So make sure you go look at someone's... Are there any females out today? No. There are no females we'll in We'll get class. one out.